so today it is day four of 15 days of foundation. It was a polka dots and flamingo mug kind of day. Cheers. Days one through three are linked down below in the description box if you missed any. But today we're gonna to be talking about a new product. This is the Cover FX Total Cover Cream Foundation. I was really intrigued by this because it says it's supposed to be a full coverage concealer and foundation in one. I have cystic acne, so I typically like to lean towards more, oh, got an itch. Foundation itches are the best. I typically lean towards more full coverage products. So looking on Sephora, let's read some of the claims. This product comes in 40 shades, which is incredible. I always appreciate CoverFX's shade range. They pretty much have a shade for anyone. They have a really great shade system as well. If you look on the product page on Sephora, they kind of break it down for you. They have different undertones. I actually went with the shade G10. In the CoverFX pigment drops, I'm in the shade N10. The description of G10 says, porcelain to light skin with golden undertones. Don't ask me why I went with this. I'm regretting not going with N10. N10 says porcelain to light skin with neutral undertones. They actually also have an N0. So I'm gonna start swatches of this shade G10 compared to some of the other foundations that I own right now. All right, so swatch time right here is the Cover Effects Total Cream Foundation in the shade G10. Next over is the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Foundation in Porcelain Ivory yesterday's video. Then we have Laura Geller Cover Lock Foundation in the shade Porcelain, which was day two. Natasha Denona Foundation X in the shade 10. Dermacol 208, which is a really good shade match for me. Tarte Rainforest of the Sea in the shade Porcelain. Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110. And Pure Cosmetics Bear It All Foundation in the shade Porcelain. So this product retails for $42 and you get 0.42 ounces of product. So you don't get a full ounce of product, but this is a cream solid product. To give you some comparison, the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact Foundation, which I also have a review on, that retails for $38 and you get 0.63 ounces of product. It says it's an antioxidant rich cream foundation and concealer in one that provides radiant full coverage. It contains 32% pigment for long wearing full coverage loaded with emollients and antioxidants, radiant second skin finish, creamy ultra blendable texture, that has also made this foundation a cult favorite for contouring. This is a new product, so I'm not entirely sure how this is a cult favorite, self-proclaimed cult favorite. It says it's supposed to be for dry to normal skin on the Cover Effects website. I have oily combination skin, so I'm really curious to see how this is gonna hold up throughout the day. They keep getting sidetracked by this highlight. So that's pretty much all the claims on this foundation. If you are excited for 15 days of foundation, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the Bay Rito family and subscribe. There's a new foundation for First impression video every single day for 15 days 6 p.m pacific time is when the videos go live okay it is freaking toasty in here right now i don't know what's happening it's 9 15 in the morning i've already washed and moisturized my face and primed i use the laura mercier foundation primer the packaging on this feels pretty cheap it doesn't feel like a very thick or sturdy plastic packaging i mean this is like hella thin i could probably snap this in half so on one side of my face i'm gonna try the sigma f82 this is the round kabuki brush and on the other side i'm gonna go in with my sponge it feels pretty stiff when you put it in it feels like it's dragging no idea how much product that just picked up it doesn't smell like anything yeah it literally has no scent i think i need a bit more it has a bit of a tug to it. It's not gliding on like the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation blends out, but it doesn't feel super hard to blend out. I've gone in about four times so far, just one drag down. And with that amount, we're getting good coverage, but it's not totally covering my acne. I probably will set this with a powder. I do have some dry patches on my forehead though, and this is sitting pretty nice on it. It's not clinging anywhere. It does look like you can see brush strokes. So afterwards, I'm gonna go ahead and just smooth it out with this sponge. It's looking a bit luminous right now. So I'm gonna try a sponge on the other side and just go to town. I don't usually like sponges for cream products because I feel like it kind of eats up the product and that's kind of what's happening here. Mm. Okay, let's try one more. Yeah, do not like a sponge to apply this. I'm gonna go back in with the brush. Yeah, way better coverage with the brush and the product just goes a lot farther. Okay, why does it feel like it's a sauna in here? The shade is a little bit off. Um, I think I could have gone with N10. It's looking a bit yellow, but once I warm up my face with blush and bronzer and stuff, I think it'll be fine. Looking at my chest, my chest definitely has more pink in it than my face right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually just use my finger to try and spot conceal. It does say this is a foundation and concealer in one and just focus that on some of my more pigmented spots. I don't know, man, my 
scarring is still coming through. Even spot concealing on a second layer. It is building, but it's not total, total cover. I wouldn't say this is like Dermacol kind of coverage, but it is full coverage. Just to smooth out those brush strokes, I'm gonna go in with a sponge, there's nothing on this. I definitely feel like this is one that I need to set. My pores don't look majorly emphasized or anything. Center of my forehead looks pretty good. There's a little bit of texture, not the smoothest I've seen, but it's not horrible. I think it's safe to call this high coverage. If you have acne, I don't think this is total, total full coverage. It doesn't feel like it's really setting at all. I wouldn't want to blend bronzer and stuff on top of here. It just feels a little bit too tacky. So I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup, figure out which setting powder I wanna use, and I will be right back right now. What time is it? Right now it's 9.27. So it's now 9.54, so we're gonna call the check-in time 10 o'clock. I don't know, there's something about this I'm not totally loving. I'm like sitting on my shirt right now. The shade aside, it just kind of looks like an average medium to high coverage foundation to me. The more that it's on my skin, if you have acne, it's just not totally covering it. I did powder my face, by the way. I used the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Powder because this one typically has more of a pink tone to it, so I thought it would help to kind of neutralize out the yellow. My forehead now with the powder does look a bit dry, but around my pores it looks good. It looks smooth everywhere else. I also feel like I have a lot of makeup on right now. I don't know. I'm just not very wowed by this at this point. Maybe it's one of those that gets better as it wears throughout the day and kind of warms up to your skin. So on the rest of my face, as a bronzer, I use the Cover FX, I'm using a lot of Cover FX today, Sun Kiss Bronzer. I actually just got this. This is the second time I'm using this. A few of you guys recommended this in my Hoola bronzer video, and so far I'm really liking it. It has a really nice tone to it. Blush, I use this shade from the L'Oreal Infallible Paints 230 Blush. Highlight, I was throwing it back and used this shade from the cover, no, from the It Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Palette, which is stunning. I feel like this highlight is totally underrated. I tried out the new Morphe 35R palette on my eyes. I used this shade right here and then this shimmery light shade on the lid. Lately for mascara, I've been layering the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara with the Catrice Glam and Doll mascara, and I feel like this takes it to the next level. The Catrice one on top just adds some major length and separation. I've been in love with this combo. Lips are also Morphe. Use the liquid lipstick in Suspect. So like I said, the check-in time is 10 o'clock. The next check-in I do will be in natural lighting. I'm really hoping I like this more as the day goes on. Okay, so right now it is three o'clock, so the foundation's been on for five hours now and my thoughts are pretty much the same. There is a little bit of oil coming through, I feel like, on my forehead. I'm starting to look a bit dewy and around my nose. So getting up close, there's a tiny bit of creasing starting to happen around the nose area, and it just looks kind of heavy around there, and it's starting to crease on my upper lip a little bit as well. The center of my forehead doesn't look bad right now. They're like redoing my neighbor's flooring right now, so hopefully you guys can't hear that drilling. When you get really up close, there is some almost pilling happening down here. You can see that like separating already on my chin and over here. So I think my thoughts on this are pretty much the same as when I first put it on right now. You know when you just put a product on and for whatever reason you're not into it? That's how I feel with this one. I can't really put my finger on what it is about this, but I'm just not feeling it. Kind of want to wash off my face right now. But we're not gonna. We're gonna keep this on. I will see you guys at the end of the night. Now 7.41, so the foundation's been on for almost 10 hours. I've been like counting down the minutes until I can wash my face. <laughs> I feel like I've said this 50 times now, but I really don't know what it is about this. I just feel like I have a lot on. I am also hella oily at this point now, and this was with setting it with a powder. We're getting real close right now, but as you can see, very oily around my nose area. My pores don't look great. It's caking up around my upper lip, around my nose on both sides. There's definitely some separation on my forehead, but the separation isn't the major issue on my forehead. I just feel like I'm very oily. I'm thinking this one might be better for dry skin. So for me, this one overall is a pass. Even if you have dry skin, I don't know. I think there are probably better foundations out there for you. Hopefully day, what is today, day four? Hopefully day five will be better. So if you guys like this video and you're excited for tomorrow's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Love you guys, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow, bye.